Howdy folks, Maxwell McGee here, and today we're checking out Prison Architect, a fantastic little indie strategy game that came out last year and is finally making the transition over to consoles. I'm joined by Gareth with Double Eleven Studios, who are helping with that very transition. Gareth, thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you very much, Max, and it's good to be here. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump into Prison Architect, take a little tour, and maybe show the people who aren't familiar with this game what it's all about. Sure. So, yes, I'm um, Gareth Wright. I'm the design manager at Double Eleven, and I'm kind of controlling the Prison Architect program. Um, you kind of say a small game, Max, but it's um, multi-million selling on PC right, right, as right. well. So it's, uh, I don't mean to diminish it. Anyway. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's actually quite fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one of the largest games I've ever worked on, so it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty big in scope. So yeah, we can we can jump right in. I'll, I'll explain some, about some of the the modes on offer as well, and then we can have a look at some gameplay. Fantastic. So um, there's uh, there's four um, main areas or main modes of the game. So the first one being uh, the prison stories. So this is kind of the game's campaign and um, kind of uh, story driven scenarios that the player will have to go through and there's five different ones right and this is kind of a good starting point for people who are new to the game you have a little bit of a narrative to carry you through learning how to manage your prison yeah definitely the they're, they're kind of designed around a story element but each one tackles different features in the game so construction demolition um, prison labor um, executing death row prisoners dealing with riots that's a fun chapter yeah. so it, it, when you get to like the end of it you'll be put, you'll be ready to to start your own prison all right um, what or, else we got oh you can just jump straight in so um the other um, modes are the um Prison Architect and Prison Warden mode. So Prison Architect is the kind of the core mode, the the big sandbox mode. Yeah. Um, I think that's what people probably think of when they think of Prison Architect is like actually building a giant prison to hold everybody. Exactly. Yeah. So we we had to we had to have that mode in the game. Um, we've added um, you know a lot more kind of features and controls over the type of prison that you you might want to start with and the type of plot plot of land okay um, so in the prison architect mode it is you are building a prison from scratch and um, certain settings will govern the type of plot of land that you start with that's procedurally generated we have um, new difficulty settings in as well for some perhaps newcomers or players that want to just jump in and and start having fun with maybe more money in the bank to start with okay um, there's also a selection of, of wardens to choose from as well in, in this mode and the wardens are kind of like have slight mutators on the game so um, one for example might have tougher guards or another one who was a former teacher in the, the, the former life where um, their pass rate of the, the, the prison programs is a lot higher so in the game prisoners can have Okay so it's not too. like an X-Men style situation because when you said mutators I was like oh maybe like <laughs> eye lasers or weather control <laughs> but no this makes a lot more sense Yeah it's it just means that it's not a kind of a game breaking benefit for being a warden but there will be like slight advantages Okay and we we're adding a number of um, exclusive wardens as well for for the console specific build as well Do all of the wardens tend to offer some sort of benefit or are there any that make the game harder Um all of them offer Offer, offer a benefit, okay. pretty much. There's yeah. not like the super lazy guards warden. No, no, there is there is one that's um, kind of based a bit on the Shawshank Redemption warden. Oh boy! And um, I'm yeah, sure he's guards a fun are, warden. The, the guards are pretty brutal. Okay. They have like more more health, and um, they they dish out punishments. They don't take um, they don't take no rough. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Right, what else we got? So um, we can jump into one of these in a second. The the Final mode, um, uh, the prison warden mode. Okay. So that's kind of um, a number of pre-designed prisons that we're adding into the game. So that's a mixture of um, maps that our level designers are creating, mm -hmm. and also some of the best designs we've seen from the the gamers themselves. Oh, fantastic. Um, the one, to, the ones in this build that aren't kind of signed off, like they're not final. Right. There's just some examples. All still of the ones very much in development. Yeah, exactly, and and it's an opportunity for players to jump straight into um, a map that's already designed in a kind of a working prison. And Are they based off of actual prisons, or is it just more of a? Oh no, this is an interesting design. Yeah, it's just an interesting design. I mean, okay. the, the the typically some players will have designed one that looks a bit like Alcatraz on an sure, island, sure, sure. that kind of thing. I mean, I mean, who can resist? Yeah, who who, who wouldn't want to do that? So we can jump into one of those in a second. The final. Um, 
I guess area of the game is the World of Wardens. This isn't in this current build at the moment, but um, it's in a it's a kind of a, a global community area. So this is it sounds like this isn't just a straight port, if you will, of the PC game. It sounds like you guys have been able to add a lot of new content to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's not a, a single area of the game, really, that hasn't undergone some kind of improvement or enhancement, be it new features, maybe better messaging um, for, for newcomers, or more visually. And we've worked with... Right, because the, the original Prison Architect is very much a, we're just going to drop you in, and you can just figure it out, or go check out a wiki, or you're kind of just <laughs> left to your own devices. All right, Gareth, so why don't we go ahead and start with a brand new prison here and talk through sort of what this game's going to be like for the new player. Sure, so if we jump straight into the first prison story. So this prison story is based around a death row inmate. So you're learning about the game and how to deal with death row inmates and schedule executions. All right. Um, how to use the electric chair and... Um, use power and other utilities in your prison. We're just going straight into the deep end yeah. with this one, all right. <laughs> as well as some kind of basic construction as well. And um, even though this is kind of a work in progress build, it, um, the, the prison story is obviously designed to guide you through the game. Um, but, but it's also kind of a, a, a cool story as well. So in a moment, the CEO will ring me and tell me about um, this death row inmate that I have to execute and and to do that I need to build the execution um, and then you're taught a little bit about um, basic construction so here he is there our poor soul here <laughs> well, all right let's jump in cool I'll skip through. The CEO is calling. I'm sure these are always fun conversations. <laughs> yeah. If the CEO starts calling you in the full game, in the final game, mm -hmm. then you're doing something wrong <laughs> and potentially about to get fired. Yeah, he never wants to call just to, like, check up on you or say hi. <laughs> no, or bring no. good news. No, it's, it's, a, it's the bringer of bad news. I'll skip through some of his comments, but essentially what he's telling me to do is make an execution facility for this new death row inmate that we have in the prison. All right. So um, to do that is obviously something the player will be doing a lot of. You go into the construction menu, select structure. For the, for the purpose of, of this um, tutorial or prison story, a lot of the other elements are locked off, but there would be a lot more construction sure, options. Sure, sure. So here I can build... The foundations. The foundations is the first thing you need to do. Um, also, I can add a door here. There we go. And the workers are already starting to, to add that. This guy's a real hands-on kind of manager here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's completely over to you. Yeah, I mean, other, other stories as well. You're dealing with riots and fires mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. get out of control and you have to um, repair a kitchen and get facilities up and running because your prisoners are starving and they're about to um, to riot. Cool. Yeah, and I know you can speed up the action. Can you pause yeah. during those moments and like, yeah, there you, you go, pause. catch your breath a little bit? So that's kind of uh, the, the time controls are mapped to, to triangle. We're playing obviously the PS4 All right. build. Um, and it's a feature that a lot of players want to have all the time if things are breaking down your prison and you want to deal with it, but you have another menu open because you're about to construct something, you can still quickly hit, hit pause and then um, and stop that at any time and then deal with it, whether it be get firemen in or riot control okay. guards or... You can kind of pause, do your menus, unpause, jump back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So the, the foundations are ready, so now I need to add some walls. Um, I need to separate this building into a cell for my death row inmate and uh, execution area. So it's really easy to um, to add walls, the, the, the menus stay open. So there we go. If I speed up time again. Yeah, do you works. find when sort of porting a strategy game like this over to the console screen, do you want to try to keep 
the UI and the screen sort of as sparse as possible or as cluttered as possible? Um, definitely as sparse as All possible. Right. Yeah, we've tried to keep it as minimalist as, as we can. Um, I think we've done a, done a pretty good job of that. It's when you're playing the game and you just want to, like, if you think you, you have a prison that's up and running um, and you just want to sit back, you can yeah, do zoom that. Zoom out and just appreciate. Exactly, yeah. Um, and that's you'll be, you'll be able to do that. But if you, you want to, the ability to, to be able to jump to construction or prison running or hire staff mm -hmm. or um, get me more prisoners, um, and you can do that really quickly just from, like, a couple of button presses. Okay. So that... That definitely was um, a really important feature for us to, to get right, and we've yeah, done a lot of play testing to, tr to try and do that. Try to keep a minimal style, but have all of the options available that somebody could want just yeah, at a moment's notice. Exactly, but not again, not cluttering the screen with you know every button on the controller. Yeah, I like the, the semi-transparency we just saw there with the D-pad, with the four principal commands down at the bottom center of the screen which will reappear after the CEO finishes passive-aggressively telling us how to design <laughs> yeah. our own prison. Yeah, it's, it fades off when you're, you're moving the camera and then it um, comes back into full view. So I have to designate these areas as rooms, so the player is learning about how to, how to make rooms. So this one I'll make a cell, and this one I'll make execution. So it's the reason for doing this is... Um, now the game and the staff and the prisoners know that's a cell. So um, a prisoner, if, if you're making a row of cells or a cell block, mm -hmm. once you designate them as cells, then... Um, they know to go, like, stand the, around inside of them. Yeah, and the guards will, will add new prisoners there, and when the prisoner's done his time, he will be released, and that will cell become vacant again okay. and cleaned and, <laughs> um, and then ready for, ready for the next prisoner. So here's where um, you might add objects. So there's only a few objects here just for the sake of this tutorial, but there's, you know, there's, I think, close to 100 objects in the game. So I need to add a bed here, and I will add a toilet. I will turn that around so it's against the wall. Oh, there we go. And What's your favorite bit of decoration for the prison cells? Um... I like I like giving them their own pool tables. I'm an, oh I'm, wow! I'm a nice warden, so that is decadent. Yeah, I, I'm I'm designing a prison at the moment, which hopefully will make it into the into the final game to play, um, called the Lap of Luxury, or something <laughs> like that. And every prisoner will have his own cell. Oh my god! Um, with a nice marble floor and a, <laughs> and a pool table, um, and it's the guards who are going to have the worst conditions. They're going to have like you know, really small In a rooms. Broom closet, to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really poor view, and um, the prisoners will have full access to check on the guards, make sure they're doing a good job. <laughs> Basically, it's an inverted backwards prison. That's that's my idea. So yeah, that you ho you hopefully see that that prison, my prison, in the final game. So we've got our electric chair set up here. I noticed no execution theater, uh, but perhaps that's for the best. You could you could add that that in. There is um, in the final game you have to. Part of the execution process is to gather the witnesses right, to, witness to witness it. it. So you do need to kind of create the like the the, the pews and add benches. So this is a bit of an introduction of some niceties that I could add that the that the CEO is suggesting. So I'll go ahead and do that. So, for example, um, kind of touched on this earlier, I could add more objects to the cell to make it more comfortable. Um, a bookshelf. This would, in the full game, would upgrade that, that prisoner's cell, so his comfort would, um, would lower because you're giving him a nice cell. Um, even if I give him a, a, a large window instead of a small window, mm -hmm. or if the window is facing outside, it, it does benefit the, the cell. Um, I could add some outdoor lights here and also different flooring types. Maybe I will <laughs> add wooden floors to yeah, the... Yeah, give it a nice rustic feel for the execution chamber. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't conduct electricity as well, um, wood, so as far as I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> so, like how that one construction guy, he's just taking a nap yeah. on that bed right now. He's just out of it. I think he's, like, he's, he's face planted. Yeah, he's just done. <laughs> Yeah, I think I should probably fire him. 
Okay, so... Right. So now can we transfer our, yeah. our poor soul here? So when we're, re when we're ready in this particular story, we just select this. To get a bit of a, a, a bit of story. So this was how it all went down. And this is all weeks ago. carried over from the uh, the PC version. Did you guys add any new chapters, or is it just straight? No, we've we haven't added any ch chapters, but we've tried to kind of improve and enhance the messaging of each one, and obviously adding um, functionality to support the new controls and the new UI and some of the new features as well. Mm -hmm. um, so those are kind of intertwined within the the PC stories. He is very just nonplussed <laughs> about this whole situation. There you go. That's now, how it, now you did it, buddy. <laughs> that's how it went down. Now you did it. leaving the scene of the crime. So he's making his way now to the electric chair. The priest's trying to reason with the guards, but the guards aren't having any of it. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing the CEO is telling me to do is um, test the electric chair, or at least telling me that I need to um, have electricity running towards it. So this is kind of one of the, the other views in the game to, to kind of see your how your electricity is flowing around. Very placeholder as far as the, the visuals are concerned. All right. So there's a certain number of cells here that, uh, um, that don't, aren't receiving power at the moment. So I need to run electrical cables. You don't have to wire every single object up, but as long as the um, the cables are kind of close enough, then that sort of in the general thing. area that'll get the job done. Yeah, yeah. So if I go back into that mode, power supply view, and I will add one of pipes there. And there, that should do it. Again, I'll speed up times just to get this done a bit quicker. And you said the sort of the visuals on that part were, were temporary. Like, what is it you're hoping to add to that level of the UI? Um, I mean, our art, our artists are kind of working on some concepts. I would like to see it, um, be able to see more of the prison, but maybe f desaturate the areas ah, that aren't, yeah, yeah. aren't important, and um, and and then kind of color the the things that are. At the moment, it's yeah, it's it's very kind of work in progress. Right. There's still um, a number of months left on the game as well. We're, sl we're slated for uh, a um, spring release this year. So it looks like we just need to run a little bit of juice to the chair itself. Yeah. That's right. I speed that up. I always just take for granted. I, yeah, this game always catches me off guard. I just take for granted that when you build things in a strategy game, they just pop up <laughs> like magic. But here, you have to. They, people have to actually build them. Yeah, everything has to be a job. So you need workers to do it, and you need the right um, resources and money coming in to afford the materials. Yeah. So there's a yeah, problem. that didn't work at all. There was a problem with the uh, the electric chair, so it needs more power. So 
Um, in other words, the more objects you, you add to your prison that need power, the more power you have to generate. So you could build more power stations here, or as the CEO is suggesting, I can just add, add more capacitors to this area here. And these are obviously things the player would, would have to do in their, their own prisons as well. So it looks like power's back on. And I guess the construction crew will be will be by when they're able with the extra capacitors, or are they already in there? Um, oh, yeah, no, there he is, yeah, there he there, is. There they are, yeah. Yeah, I can track these jobs to see. Um... No, I like how he just waggles. He just waggles that screwdriver <laughs> on top of it. I tell you, I mean, I've installed a fair number of capacitors in my day, and yeah, you pretty much just... <laughs> yeah. Just kind of bonk it in Let's there. Make sure it's turned off before I add this. Put this screwdriver into this. Uh, I take it in the future the volts. green, mysterious green box would provide some sort of helpful information about what's happening. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, the or the or the thing in the top left. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's um, our kind of work in progress staff alerts feature. Ah, okay. Which is a new thing as well. So these will. These will, when they're finished, will pop up and give you um, different ideas of the types of things you could do with your prison. So, oh, okay, sort of gently like, hey, maybe you could work on this. Yeah. Maybe put out that fire. Might be a good idea. Exactly. Yeah. There's a fire starting, or um, oh, we've, we've we have we've scripted um, you know several of these staff alerts. So, for example, um, if the prison is getting quite full of prisoners, but you don't have um, you don't have enough guards, then it might suggest you buy some more guards. Okay. So you hire some more guards. If your prison has a lot of contraband coming through, say weapons, tools being snuck in or even thrown over the wall, or sometimes contraband is brought through in, in visitation, as in as it would be in another right. prison, then um, the, the, the staff alerts might, the security chief might suggest, hey, why don't you add some metal detectors to the, the front gate? If it's narcotics that prisoners are smuggling in, um, like such as drugs, then um, or alcohol, then you can get sniffer dogs to, to do that. So there's loads of things, loads of ways to deal with all the different scenarios, and and one of the things we've added is hints to the player of the, of the things they can they can do to help deal with that. So are any of these sort of improvements or changes that you guys are making going to be reflected in the PC version, or is this exclusive for the console ports? This yeah, this is exclusive to ours as well. Um, yeah, that that's I guess that's a question for introversion. If if sure. but that we're we're partners on on this project as well. So by all means, that the the changes that we're making can carry over to the PC version. Sure, sure, sure. And vice it's versa. sort of at their discretion. Though. Yeah, of, co okay. of course. Yeah, I mean I know that they that, you know they're really we, we've worked with them on the design for some of these features as well that, that, that they're really pleased with. So um, who knows if some of them might make it into the. PC version. Let's get a wide shot of the park there, yeah. <laughs> I just like watching them zipping around in there. Yeah, it's sometimes oh, cool just to kind of watch watch the prisoners and you can follow follow guards and things around going about the... Well, now the that we have our capacitors up and installed... Yeah, so... I don't mean to be too excited about frying this guy, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he's ready. Um, I mean, one of the things as well, if you kind of forget what you're supposed to be doing, the to-do mm -hmm. list is always in there on the top. Um, left corner as oh, well. Okay. So um, yeah. So okay. I need Let's to fire test, it up. Test yeah. The chair. Sounds lacking a bit there, but <laughs> need some kind of maybe <laughs> some a little bit of gravitas. So this is coming to the end of the um, this particular story. So this is seemingly taking place after he killed his wife and right. her lover. After the, the chapter the, one, as it before were. he was he was arrested, and um, he's obviously come to, um, I guess, seek some forgiveness. And um, inevitably, I think how this, even though it's not it's not explained, I think he he turns himself in. But in the eyes of the law, he's still guilty, and he still must face the chair.
I think the music really kind of gets a gives a morbid sense of, of what you're it doing, does. and you start to you start to question whether you're making the right decision. Right, right. Yeah, you just sort of go through happily following instructions, looking at all the the cute little characters and the fun <laughs> cartoony colors, and then yeah, and then it just kind of comes out of left field with these. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah, maybe I should stop and think about this for a second. And there's always a chance in in if you're playing in the full game that 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 prisoner could be, could have been in, innocent mm, of his crimes. Right. There's like a 5% chance. Um, so you never really, you never know. But uh, if, if he wasn't innocent, you'll get the CEO on the phone. <laughs> They'll and, let you know. And a warning, yeah, and potentially a, a fine if you keep doing it. So it's important in the, the, the full game when you're executing prisoners to go through the process of um, uh, a, a, a few Vetting successful and, yeah. appeals to make sure that he's definitely guilty. So he's going to face the chair. I like the fact that another prisoner has already moved, already into moved the cell. It, it, it's a very efficient <laughs> prison, you know. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> hey, we know how these things work. We know how this is all going to end up, so... Dude needed, dude needed a place to sleep. He's also, like... Like, he's just going to sleep through this whole thing, too. He doesn't even care what's going on next door. He's just like, keep it down over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I got a long day of taking showers and hanging out in the park. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. This bed's a lot comfier than mine, so <laughs> I can put up with the, uh, the the occasional power surges. Right. Do people still use the hoods? Is the executioner hood still a thing? I'm getting nods from the uh, the audience. I don't know. I mean, Goodness. I thought it was execution. In, well, at least um, in this country, was 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 banned. I, I don't know. At least, at least in not, lock not in the not in the great nation of America, son. Right. You fry your ass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not what happens in lockup with Sylvester Stallone. Well, I mean, you can't stop Sylvester Stallone, man. That guy's <laughs> indestructible. Not like this poor guy. Yeah. So that's it for him. There it is, a touching moment. This is a fun game. <laughs> well, Gareth, thank you so much for sharing You're welcome. this powerful experience with me. Remind the folks out there who are listening, when is this version of Prison Architect going to be landing on consoles? So, um, at the moment, we're saying spring um, this year, 2016. All right. So, yeah, and it's out on PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. Um, priced at um, $29.99 or um, $19.99 um, British pounds. Um, so yeah, pick it up. And um, this is a very early build, so we hope to be re pushing a lot more trailers and, and footage out there as well. There's, just, there's so much to show as well. The, the, there's a, riots and gangs and fires that, that um, are work in progress at the minute, but they'll be, um, they'll be announced quite soon. Hopefully I have more footage to show.